Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for the month of January for Libra. So we're just going to get started. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the month of January. Keep in mind that this is for January. It's being recorded in December, so it may or may not resonate here now. Um, King of Cups sideways. So we have a challenge here. We have, we have somebody is having a hard time mastering their emotions. It could be a very emotional time. A lot of ups and downs. It's it's definitely sensitive. It's 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 definitely going to be a feeling month. You could be dealing with a water sign. Doesn't have to be. This is somebody that um, on one one day they may be very loving, and on the next day they're not. Okay. Um, this person on one day may be uh, saying, I love you, and the next minute not communicating with you. So this is an energy of very wishy-washy, back and forth, um, cold and withdrawn one day, and loving and kind the next. So you may be dealing with that person. We're going to put it back in because it came out sideways, and we're going to see what comes up. Ooh, look. Wow. I mean, the lovers and the ace of pentacles, you've manifested a new opportunity or you've manifested a love connection, something that could be permanent. This is a permanent partnership, a permanent union, um, definitely something that could really last, something you could hold on to. This could be a soulmate connection. This could be very unexpected. This may have happened suddenly. Um, there could... There, either, there could even be a reunion. Whatever this is, this is an an opportunity for, uh, it looks like it's true love that could lead to something solid, stable, long term. Okay? I mean, I should stop right here, huh? Because this is beautiful. This is great. This is a gift. It's a gift of love. So. Hmm. But there could be somebody here that, I mean, the Hierophant reversed is, this could be a father figure that um, is very controlling, or this is, this is um, somebody that may be questioning their authority. Interesting. Somebody could also be fearful of commitment, or they could be already married. Something to do with marriage and commitment here. There could be a divorce, but it gives an opportunity for new love. Hmm. Ooh, now the chariot reverse. This is uh, being stuck. This is, there is some sort of opposition here. This, is, this could be opposites attract as well. Um, this is something coming to a stop. Something is coming to a stop. It has to. It could have something to do with a father. I'm not sure if it does, but it could. Something being stopped in their tracks. Now, this is somebody who wants to win at all costs. This is somebody that is very wounded, the Nine of Wands. This person um, definitely doesn't want to lose, but it looks like they're down. They're on the ground. Um, it's like maybe they need to give up. This person is a fighter. But why fight when you can? You don't need to fight anymore? It's like this person wants to prove something. It feels like we have somebody in it that is... Uh, well, this is a, the hair front reverse is disgraced by a loss, and it's like they're fighting, 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 fighting. But this is coming to a halt, it's coming to a stop. Perhaps the fight is going to stop. Um, somebody is not going to receive good news. This somebody could be dealing with a person that is petty, very childish, very immature, that lies, that is vindictive. Um, now this is not well suited. So I think there's there's this is a new opportunity. This is a choice between two. So you may be presented with a choice between two. You you may have somebody that is that is uh 
not leaving you alone. They're they're causing problems for you. They're petty. They're childish. They're immature. They're not well suited. They're holding you back. Some, it's like somebody's trying to hold you back in some way. They this is a competition. They may be tra trying to compete for your energy, compete for your time, compete for you. You may be involved in some sort of. This is your competition card. This is a player. Okay, you could be dealing with somebody that is playing. Um, they're playing games, but this is letting go, letting go of their end. So somebody may be be deciding to give up. They may have been reluctant to give up, but maybe now they are. The Two of Pentacles reversed. The Two of Pentacles reversed is somebody who's made some really, really, really poor decisions, and they're probably losing it. Somebody could be losing it. They're losing their stability, or they're losing something. They've they're they got too many too many things going on. Too many balls in the air. They may have bitten off more than they can chew. I don't know who this person is, but it's like somebody is causing chaos for you. Hmm. But it is gonna come to a stop. You're dealing with somebody as well that cannot master their emotions at all. Okay. This person could literally be losing it, losing their marbles, is what I heard. Um, what is this golden opportunity up here? Ooh, strength reversed. You got a new union here, and you definitely have a new partnership here. This is new. You've manifested something. You have an option here. You have an option to, it's like this is, uh, well, the strength reversed is, this is, I think it's let go with the strength reversed. Now, strength reversed is weakness. This is somebody that is ill, perhaps, or somebody that is sick. I don't know if it's a Leo. This golden opportunity. Now, it may have something to do with a Leo. You do have a partnership here. Oh, there's that King of Cups again. So you have a new opportunity for love. But this is letting go. This, the strength reversed is not holding on, seriously. It's letting go of something. You have a big opportunity for love. Seriously, you have a big opportunity for love in, in January. You do. Somebody that is caring, somebody that is kind, somebody that is is loving, very, very feeling, very, very emotional and tender. So it looks like you have a big opportunity here for stability as well. This person is also stable and solid and secure. But the strength reversed, that is letting go of something that... I think it's negative. Hmm. What is this strength reversed? There's a, there's a, I mean, six of wands reversed. There's no victory here. There's no victory. There's no progress. There's no success. The strength reversed. This is a weakness. There's there's doubt. There's some you may be dealing with somebody that has a lot of pride, a big ego. There's no success with that person. That person is not going to be successful. You have another opportunity for love. Not wanting to progress. A rejection. You may be this is a rejection. You're going to be, re you're, this is an opportunity, you're, you may be rejecting somebody. I think you are because you have a choice between two here. So you're, there's going to be a loss here. Because you have a bigger, better opportunity. This is a huge, big opportunity. But you can't have both. Interesting. So all is not as it seems. Okay, there's some sort of secrets. There's some sort of de deception here. Something is hidden below the surface that hasn't been shown yet. Somebody's going to get rejected. And they're also, they're not going to get what they want. We could have somebody here that is pushing to get something that they're not supposed to have. They're not going to win. The Six of Wands reversed. They're not going to win. Could be the Leo under here. 
I don't know if you're dealing with it. It could be a Pisces. All is not as it seems. This is uh, the Knight of P Pentacles reverse. I mean, upright. We had it reversed yesterday. That's why I said that. This is building security. This is responsible. This is stable. This is a super safe situation. So you're probably moving into something more safe, more solid, more stable. You've you got a partnership here. You really do. Something that is really a, a big, huge opportunity. You're going to be seizing a new... This is seizing a new opportunity here. A happy home, happiness, comfortable, at ease. So this is going to be a... It's like you guys are... Your relationship is stepping it up a notch or you are becoming more comfortable at home, more comfortable in your relationship, more at ease. This is extreme happiness. January is going to be a month of happiness. Now, this is getting prepared for something. This is an arrival. This is hoping for the best, praying and hoping for the best. Here it is. Here's what something that you've been waiting for is arriving or has arrived. Things are going to be expanding. This is like, it's like expansion of some sort. Interesting. Over here, we have somebody that has been foolish. They have acted foolishly. Perhaps their ship has sailed and you're watching it sail. You're letting it go. That's what this is. You're letting something go because you got a bigger, better opportunity here. I think something suddenly changes or has suddenly changed and this opportunity is too big to pass up. So you're letting something go. You got an opportunity for a beautiful partnership here. And I, this is taking it. You're going to take it. This is safe. This is solid. This is, this is secure. It's long term. It's stable. So I think there's one person getting rejected and another person being accepted in the month of January. If somebody has not entered your life yet and you are completely single... Be prepared, okay? Because I think there's going to something unexpected is going to happen and, and you're just going to be shocked, okay? this Whoever this person is, it's like you're meant to be with this person. It's like this person is a soulmate of yours and this person doesn't have to be a lover, okay? The lovers are soulmates. You can be soulmates with your parents, with anybody, with your children, with your friends, with anybody. We do definitely have two people that are going to be together that are meant to be together, Okay. This is something that you can hold on to. Something really, really, really stable. You're going to be in a stable relationship. This is a stable relationship. Secure. You may be building a new foundation with somebody. This is liberation, freedom, freedom from prison. This is freedom from a prison. So you're going to be freed from something that was keeping you, that was hurting you, that was uh, some sort of betrayal. You've been betrayed by somebody. You're going to be holding on to something really, really stable. This is stable. So Libra, be prepared for something to happen, either a relationship is stepping it up to the next level, or you are headed, or somebody is headed towards you that is stable, that is loving, that is kind, that has something really big to offer you. This is a gift. You are receiving a gift of something long-term and permanent, something abundant, something big. You have a big gift coming, or it has already arrived and things are just going to get better. Okay? We do have somebody being rejected here because this is a rejection. This is a loss. Somebody is losing a battle. This is a rejection. This person is weak. This person is a coward. This person um, doesn't have integrity, doesn't act with grace, isn't gentle.
selfish, has a lot of pride and ego. This, whoever this is, that has been, this person is very controlling, that has been, it's like somebody's been clinging, and I think the clinging is just about over. This is a rejection, seriously. It's like there's no reciprocation here. There isn't, there's no need to reciprocate. This person doesn't reciprocate, so there's no need for you to reciprocate. you got somebody here that does want to reciprocate. Somebody treated you unfairly. There's been some sort of injustice. That's interesting. Somebody may be receiving their karma for their cowardly behavior, for their need to control, for their ego, for their pride, for however they treated you. So this is bad karma. This is um, an injustice. Somebody didn't want to be or doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. But you are protected and you are going to continue to be protected. Your wish is going to be granted. You are going to be happy. You are. This is a renewal. You're going to be shining. You're going to be the star of the show this month. Somebody's going to have legal issues are going to go and not go in their favor. Could be this person right here. Yeah, somebody's going to get angry and upset. Definitely. It's because things are out of their control. They can't control it. Because somebody can't control, it's like they can't control the legal system. They're going to get really, really, really upset. Somebody has definitely been lying. Like I said over here, it could be a father. I don't know if it is a father. It doesn't have to be. But this person is super controlling. Super controlling. You could have been dealing with somebody who was just holding on to you because they were, were a narcissist. And they like to have that control. But their control is being taken away. It's being coming to a complete stop. Okay? So, Libra, be prepared for an unexpected opportunity and love to grow, okay? You, or if it hasn't happened already, you have a big, huge opportunity here that is a real gift. You are, this is, seriously, you have a gift. This is a gift. You are being blessed with something. This is absolutely your wish being granted. This is freedom, and it is, does have to do with love, okay? You, it's like, and I think I've said this in one of your previous readings. I don't know what it is. And maybe it wasn't yours, but it's like, you will be loved. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. Good luck.